Meghan Markle and Prince Harry should name their new baby Diana if it's a girl, ex-royal butler Paul Burrell believes. Mr. Burrell, 60, urged the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to be brave and name a baby girl after Harry and Prince William's late mother, Diana, Princess of Wales. The former royal butler congratulated Harry, 34, and Meghan, 37, after they announced on Monday they were expecting their first child. Diana once described Mr. Burrell as the only man she ever trusted and her rock. Mr. Burrell tweeted his congratulations to Harry and Meghan. Mr. Burrell posted, Dear Meghan and Harry, many congratulations to you both on your wonderful news. Australia has taken you to their hearts and have seen at first hand the inspirational people you are. If your baby is a girl, be brave and call her Diana which would make your mother so proud. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are currently on a 16-day tour of Australia, New Zealand, Donga, and Fiji. In a speech in Sydney this week, Harry said they did not know if they were expecting a boy or a girl. But Victoria, Albert and Arthur are among the favourite baby names with bookmakers. Meghan wowed onlookers this week with her special banana bread recipe at a tea with farmers in Dubbo, New South Wales. Following the announcement Meghan is pregnant, Mr. Burrell appeared on ITV's Good Morning Britain. Mr. Burrell told presenter Piers Morgan he knew it would happen, adding Harry has always wanted to be part of a larger family. Royal biographer Lady Colin Campbell accused Meghan of treating her family in an appalling way during the same show. She said, I hope for her sake and the sake of the monarchy that she begins to embrace them a little more. Mr. Burrell has hit the headlines for his claims about the Princess of Wales in recent years. He described Meghan as a breath of fresh air and said the possibility of the first black royal baby is a wonderful thing. I think it would unite the country. British people are all colours, said Mr Burrell. He added he hoped that the Duchess of Sussex could be reconciled with her family behind closed doors. Meghan is not believed to have spoken to her dad Thomas Markle, 74, since she tied the knot with Harry in May. Today, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry made an appearance at the Coach Corps Awards at Loughborough University, and on top of looking as great as always, Meghan was sporting something completely new. Her hair, which she usually wears curly or in a bun, was pinned straight, with, it looks like, some V-fresh layers. Take a look. Because I am a journalist and I care about these things. I combed through 60-plus pages of the latest pictures of Meghan and found she hasn't worn her hair like this since at least before her wedding to Prince Harry. This is her usual style. You may be thinking. What's the big deal about this? So the girl changed her hair. But, there's something important to note here. When Kate Middleton announced her third pregnancy, one reporter noticed a very subtle pattern. And the internet latched on, using pictures as evidence. Here's Kate about two months before her most recent pregnancy reveal, looking totally normal. Taking it back a little further, here she was in the summer of 2014 two months before the news of baby Charlotte was announced. Totally normal hair. The signature style. But here's a photo of her just one month before the Charlotte news hit, and media pointed out that she was embracing her roots more than ever. I mean, it's possible she just skipped a colorist appointment and this was totally unintentional, but it could still be part of a pattern. Here's the most compelling evidence of all. One month before the Prince George news, Kate was wearing her perfectly blown out brown curls as per usual. But then, only a week or two before they announced the pregnancy, she shocked the world by getting bangs. Bangs are not subtle. People were so preoccupied that the announcement of Prince George's existence on December 3 was a slight shock to the masses. Technically this is all just a fun internet theory and no one from the palace has confirmed this in regards to Kate or Meghan. It's possible it's a totally coincidental trend. So, Meghan is not pregnant yet, but the haircut and style change is definitely going to keep the internet busy for the foreseeable future. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been tacked for announcing their happy news, on International Pregnancy and Infant Loss Remembrance Day. 
Meghan Markle and Prince Harry revealed via Kensington Palace this morning they are expecting their first child together in spring 2019. A spokesman said, Their Royal Highnesses are very pleased to announce the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in spring 2019. Their Royal Highnesses very much appreciate all of the support they have received from people around the world since their wedding in May and are delighted to be able to share their happy news. The Queen, Duke of Edinburgh, Prince of Wales, Duchess of Cornwall and Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are delighted for the couple and were able to congratulate them on Friday at the wedding in person. Ms Doria Ragland is very happy about the lovely news and she looks forward to welcoming her first grandchild. Meghan is in good health and has had a successful 12-week scan, with news of the pregnancy coming just five months after she married Prince Harry at Windsor Castle on May 19. But hundreds of upset mothers have flooded Twitter to criticize the timing of the announcement, saying it could not have come on a worse day. At Jinnah 1968 tweeted, A bit insensitive if you ask me. It's baby loss and bereavement day. At Laney Burrow 77 replied, Absolutely. Prince Harry and hashtag Meghan announce excitement at hashtag pregnancy on baby loss and bereavement day. Hashtag Meghan Markle at pregnant. And I thought it was bad enough that they couldn't wait more than three days to knock Eugenie back into place. Hashtag appalling to me. At Mags underscore Griffin added, was just about to tweet the same thing. Of all the days to release the news, very insensitive. At Kensington Royal. At Josh Rippin tweeted, really thoughtful of Harry and Meghan to announce their pregnancy on Baby Loss Awareness Day. Hashtag infertility sucks hashtag baby loss awareness hashtag pregnancy hashtag miscarriage hashtag trauma. But Ruth Bender at Deke, National Director of the Miscarriage Association, which aims to raise awareness around pregnancy loss, defended Meghan and Harry, insisting they were probably unaware of the significance of today. She said, I imagine they didn't know. I think it's as simple as that. For many people who have the deep sadness and grief of losing a baby, there was also that moment of joy when they wanted to announce their pregnancy. I can understand how people feel. It can be deeply hurtful but I have to be sure they had no idea of the significance of the day. Kensington Palace declined to comment. International Pregnancy and Infant Loss Remembrance Day marks pregnancy loss and infant death, including miscarriage, stillbirth, sudden infant death syndrome in any death of a newborn. It is observed each year in the UK, Canada, the US, Norway, Italy and Kenya, as well as the Australian states of Western Australia and New South Wales. Last night, Meghan and Harry arrived in Sydney for the start of their first global royal tour, which will see them take in Australia, Fiji, Tonga, and New Zealand as well as being International Pregnancy and Infant Loss Remembrance Day, today, October 15, also marks the end of Baby Loss Awareness Week, which began on October 9 and remembers the lives of babies lost in pregnancy or soon after birth. Prince Harry has mock-scolded a newsreader for giving his wife Meghan Markle flowers during a surprise stop on the royal tour. Deviating from their schedule, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex paused to greet the small crowd outside Taranga Zoo this morning. Among the crowd was Nova 969 newsreader Matt de Groot, whom breakfast hosts Fitzy and Whippa had tasked with gifting the $500 bunch of flowers to the parents-to-be. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex decided to stop after de Groot's bouquet caught the eye of Meghan, causing Harry to joke about the size of them. You can't give flowers that big to my wife, what is that all about? Harry joked pointing a finger in mock anger at the Groot. As the crowd laughed Meghan added, thank you for my flowers. De Groot told News.com. Oh he was surprised his last minute plan brought him so close to the royal couple. During an earlier attempt to give the Duke and Duchess of Sussex the flowers outside Admiralty House, police told De Groot he would be crash tackled by security if he got too close. But outside Taranga Zoo, Meghan and Harry were more than happy to accept the bouquet. She seemed genuinely excited and flattered by the size of the flowers and her people, who were with her, pointed out that she loved the fact that they were huge, de Groot said. 
Both Meghan and Harry appeared buoyed by the fact that they had announced their pregnancy the night before. Meghan in particular just couldn't stop smiling. Every single person was saying congratulations, de Groot said. She wasn't hiding it, she didn't want to shy away from it. She seemed genuinely enthusiastic about the fact that she could now share the news. Harry was the same. <laughs>